Prince William, Kate Middleton, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were once dubbed the Fab Four, but the relationship between the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex has slowly been disintegrating as time goes on. Following a string of jibes from both sides, Harry and Meghan may have come up trumps by poaching two aides from Kate and William's team, infuriating the couple in the process. The Royal Sussex Foundation, the official charity of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, employed two former, and prominent, staffers in William and Kate's household. Natalie Campbell had previously worked for the Royal Foundation, the charity created by Prince Harry and Prince William in 2009. Two months ago, Natalie was snatched from the Cambridges and brought on as the director for the Sussex's charity. Natalie's departure has impacted William and Kate greatly. Sources told the Mail Online at the time, her loss will be keenly felt by the Cambridges. Another new member of Meghan and Harry's staff who was formerly employed by Kate and William is Clara Madden. Clara has been working very closely with the Harry and Meghan since their royal wedding in May last year, with the New Zealand-born aide helping the royal couple with their wedding plans, as well as their royal tour of Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga. Ms Campbell was labelled the star of the Cambridge office, with Clara's mother revealing that the future King of England himself has raved about her daughter, William said to me that Clara is the star of the office. Here's hoping after a rough couple of months relations get better, and not worse. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have poached more than one member of Prince William and Kate's staff within the past year. Meghan and Prince Harry's growing team within their household and newly created Sussex Royal Foundation can count on two people who had previously worked for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Natalie Campbell, who almost two months ago was appointed director at the Sussex's new primary philanthropic and charitable vehicle, has worked for months at the Royal Foundation created in 2009 by Prince Harry and Prince William. According to her LinkedIn profile, the social entrepreneur started working with the royals in February last year as Director of Insight and Innovation. Ms Campbell's departure from the Cambridge household was believed to have an impact on Kate and William. At the time, her loss will be keenly felt by the Cambridges. Ms Campbell, who on her Twitter biography says she is doing my bit to make at least one life better and having fun along the way had already worked with Meghan before becoming director at the Sussex Royal Foundation. The social entrepreneur had collaborated with the Duchess of Sussex on her cookbook, together, a project shining a light on the charitable endeavor of the Hub Kitchen, a group of people who came together to prepare fresh meals after the Grenfell Tower tragedy. However, Ms Campbell's time as director at the Sussex Royal Foundation seems to have been short-lived. According to Companies House documents, the social entrepreneur left her post on August 22. However, the removal of their names from official documents doesn't imply they have been fired from the Sussex household, according to a royal source. Speaking to the Mail Online, the insider said Ms Campbell had been given the status of director only temporarily for legal reasons, which may mean she will take on a new role within the household. American-born Sarah Latham, who was hired in March as head of communications of the Sussexes, was also appointed director of the new foundation for less than two months. Another member of Meghan and Harry's staff who had previously worked with Kate and William is Clara Madden. The New Zealand-born aide hit the front page on May 19 last year, when she became known as the mystery woman who handed Meghan her bouquet before the Duchess of Sussex walked down the aisle on her wedding day. During the past year, Ms Madden helped the couple with their wedding plans and public announcement and accompanied the royals on their tour down under to Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga. Similarly to Ms Campbell, Ms Madden is said to have made an impression on William and Kate while working for them. After the royals met Ms Campbell's parents during their tour down under in 2014, the aide's mother said, William said to me that Clara is the star of the office. Meghan and Harry have reshaped their team of aides in the past months, after suffering a string of resignations since their wedding day. In the past 13 months, the couple faced the resignations of a bodyguard, personal assistants and two nannies. 
while the first nanny chosen to look after their son Archie Harrison has been reportedly sacked for being unprofessional, the second is believed to have been a temporary hire that had to look after the four-month-old baby exclusively overnight and weekends. The couple's former private secretary, Samantha Cohen, also left her role after 17 years with the royal family. And Harry's private secretary Ed Lane Fox quit last summer.